How do you know if your mini split is cooling properly? I'm gonna give you a quick tip, some steps that you can use to be able to figure that out really quickly. So we take our remote controller, we push the cooling button, we turn the temperature down all the way, and then we take our fan speed, which is our indoor fan, and we turn that fan speed up all the way. Wait till your outdoor unit comes on and your indoor unit feels like it's blowing cool air. Then we're gonna get a temperature probe like this one made by NAVAC, and I'll list a very affordable one in the description. We're gonna take that, turn it on, and then we're gonna put this first up here where our return air is to figure out what the temperature is inside of our home. And once we figure that out, then we're gonna measure the supply air temperature. Once we get that reading, this one is 72. We're gonna subtract it from our supply air temperature. This is the air that's blowing out. And it should be about 20 degrees cooler than the air the mini split is pulling in. So if we read 72 at our return air, where the air is being pulled in to our filter and then in our coil, we should be reading around 52 for our supply air. So what are we reading? 54, that's an 18 degree split, which is pretty good. In between 18 and 22 degrees is ideal. So there's 53, 52. So our return air temperature is 72. That's the air that's being pulled into the mini split. And our supply air temperature is 52. That's the air that's being blown out of the mini split. This was a quick video on how to check and determine if your mini split is cooling properly. Make sure you don't stick your probe too far into the mini split. Otherwise you could damage the blower wheel, which is inside and it's turning very fast.